In Switzerland, a team led by Professor Jing Wang are working to create a biosensor that will be able to detect coronavirus in the air. So as we know that uh, these viruses could be transmitted through the airborne, so one of the particular goals of us is uh, to monitor the air quality. And uh, for this, then we need to collect a certain amount of air and then these airborne particles need to be processed and carried by a certain agent to our sensing element. And then in our sensing element, uh, we could detect the amount of viruses in the air. So you need to have an interaction between the target you would like to sense and your sensing element. The RNA is basically the genetic code that is specific to this virus. So this is a very specific signal and then, then you can detect this. And this piece of information is specific for this virus. And then by detection of this RNA, you know that this is your target. You are not getting a signal from something else. The key to how the biosensor works is detecting this unique RNA signal. Gold nano islands on a glass substrate contain artificially produced DNA receptors that match specific RNA sequences of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The technology used for detection is known as LSPR, or localized surface plasmon resonance, an optical phenomenon that occurs in metallic nanostructures. If the virus RNA passes over the DNA receptors in the gold nano islands, they bind together. This reaction causes a phase change in a light pointed at the nano islands, which is picked up by an optical sensor and shows the RNA strands in question are present. This is light signal before the target is being captured by the sensing element and after this capture. And then we compare this difference, and from this difference, then we can quantify how many of these targets are being captured. So where will that biosensor be useful? We hope that the sensor can contribute to the studies of the transmission route. And obviously this is also will be useful for uh, early warning, right? So if you go to a certain location, go to a train station, for example, you go to somewhere where you could have a lot of people and then if our sensor can deliver this signal and you see how oh, here the concentration of the virus in the air is very high so so obviously you need to be careful you try to avoid this uh, this space the sensor has the potential to be used as an alternative to the polymerized chain reaction or pcr test that's used widely to test people for the virus Someone who thinks they're infected would just need to blow into the sensor to give an instant reading. So we still need to develop this sensor more so that this sensor can be a deployable instrument in the field. And then we hope that, uh, that we can use this instrument to study the transmission of the virus and also contribute to early warnings uh, uh, control so that you can have better response to the to the situation you have early detection and uh, so hopefully this will contribute to the to the overall campaign against the, the COVID-19.